welcome to another video. Today, as you can tell from the title, I'm gonna be reviewing the Andy Anderson Pro Model. Super excited to be doing this. This is the 845 size. This is the OG. I'm really excited to skate this. I have new trucks on, so I have a lot to break in. These wheels are new too. These are bigger wheels than I'm used to skating. Wider trucks. This is for an 8.5 board. I've had like this big for a cruiser deck, but never actually for like street skating. I'm a street skater. I, I've been getting into transition a little bit. I'm gonna take this board to a couple different parks and skate it, see what I can land on it, see if I can do anything fun with it and just see what it's like. I'm gonna give you guys my honest review on it, my honest thoughts. I know I'm gonna be a fan because I just love watching Andy Anderson skate. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked. Right now I'm at the Ravenna Curbs. This is a flat ground skateboarding spot we have in Seattle with obviously some curbs. I'm gonna break in the board and the wheels of the trucks, just kind of get used to the feel of this board, do some flip tricks. And then tomorrow I'm actually gonna go to a park and skate real stuff. That's basically it. Also, just wanted to show you my grip job. I use pretty much my entire sticker selection. Then I obviously have clear grip tape on here to be able to see everything, but yeah, pretty sick. Really excited. So much bigger than what I'm used to skating, but hey, that's why this video is gonna be interesting. So without further ado, Alright, so after doing the straight eight, I definitely can feel that it's a very heavy board. I don't know what's more difficult, if it's the width of the board or how large the wheels are. I skated my 53s down like so much. And so now these are 54 and they're pretty large. So that's a big deal for sure. When I'm flipping down on those tricks that I just did, it's a much more intense flick. I can definitely feel it. I'm kind of interested in seeing how a double flip will work on this. So I'm going to try double flip and then I'm going to start doing some rotation tricks, doing kick flips with the 180s and just seeing like how well these wheels slide and what it's like with the heavier board. Yeah, let's see if I can land some cool ones.
pleasantly surprised with how good the board was feeling. Even though the board is heavier, I feel like since the tail and nose have a bigger pocket, the board turns more sideways and then you can flick off of a bigger surface. If you draw a line from where your wheel is mm -hmm. to what the contact point on the ground would be, okay. mm -hmm. it has, you have this whole wing that'll pressure point. Oh. So if you want to scoop a tray, you have your foot in the wing and then it puts up the wall for you to it. flick against. Yeah. Wow. Also, it was really fun to do some freestyle tricks. I figured since it's an Andy Anderson board, I have to do some freestyle. Out of my territory a little bit, but I was just making it up as I went. Never really done stuff like that, but I had a lot of fun figuring that stuff out. Yeah, I'm looking forward to taking it to the skate park tomorrow, seeing how it grinds, seeing how it skates transition. It's gonna be a good time. I'm really tired though, so I'm gonna go home and sleep. I'll see you in the morning. All right, so it's the next day. I just warmed up a little bit on the ramps here at Judkins. Yeah, I decided to pick this park. Really, I'm most excited to skate Marginal Way today. That's pretty close to here. So this is kind of just the warm up session. Marginal doesn't have any ledges. So I'm gonna definitely be skating some ledges here and see how that feels. When I was warming up on the ramps, I definitely feel that I have a lot more like control of my board. There's a lot more surface area. So just doing ollies and stuff and like locking in the, the coping. I'm having a much better time already. Like I think it's the size of the wheels and just having a wider board. So yeah, super fun. I'm also really loving these wheels. I think I might even use these wheels on my street setup when I'm done skating this board. Gonna go roll around a little bit more and then I'll see you guys in the ledge. I'm at Marginal Way now. The Judkin session was pretty fun. Honestly, once again, very surprised by how well the board is locking into everything. Crooks were feeling really good. No slide, tail slides were feeling really good. Yeah, I kind of had to call the session early. It wasn't really long. The sun's really beaming today. It was really hot out, so I kind of wanted to get to the shade. Vibes at this park are always nice, but it's also really sketchy to be here alone. There's a lot of things that can go wrong, so I'm definitely saying my prayers before the session. I can't go too crazy anyways, because these are like brand new trucks. I need to kind of learn this truck width before I do anything too crazy but it'll still be really fun, so let's do it. I wanted a completely symmetrically weighted board. I wanted my board to balance in the center. Surprise, transition is feeling super good. 
Also, I was noticing that my board looks like it's barely been used at all. It's only just a little bit scratched and most of the shape of the actual board is still there. Pretty sick. Definitely love the flight deck construction. I'm gonna try to skate the Popsicle flight deck next and definitely open to skating the other Andy Anderson models for sure. I was feeling really good, knocked those tricks out. My legs are getting really tired. I've skated like every single day for the last week. So now I'm just gonna skate the actual swimming pool right here. Get a few tricks in there and then honestly I'm going to call it a session so I'm going to hop in there and see what else I can land. Whenever you skate marginal way, you know you gotta go home and take a shower right after. I'm gonna call it a video there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that if you're considering buying this board that this gives you a good idea of what it's like to skate. This board also has a lot of life left in it, so if you're interested in seeing additional clips and just kind of seeing how it skates a little bit more, definitely go check out my Instagram because I'm gonna have some clips of this board. I'm sure it's gonna last a long time. Besides that, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, share with a friend, and yeah, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the support. Peace.